Hello and welcome to this short video on Quizcom custom actions. In this video we'll learn how to create an item action that triggers a workflow after the item is updated. I'm in my SharePoint site, I will go to the IT help desk list and then I will go to the Quizcom action settings and item custom actions. As you see I already have a custom action here called close ticket on which we worked on previous videos. And what this custom action does is close the selected ticket by a help desk technician. What we want to do is after a ticket is closed, we want to start a workflow called customer feedback workflow. So after a ticket is closed, we want to receive the customer feedback from our internal users on how their experience was with this ticket. So what we will do from the initiate workflows section at the bottom of the custom action settings we have all the available list workflows that we could run on our ticket. We simply have to select, in my case, the customer feedback workflow, click the arrow, and then every time after my item is updated, so after the close ticket custom action is triggered, the ticket is getting closed, Quizcom custom actions will automatically initiate the customer feedback workflow. So we make sure that every time the customer gives us their feedback so we know what they think about our service. So now if I go to the IT help desk list, as a help desk technician, I go to my computer is not working ticket. I close it. I will select an issue closing date and then the resolution details. Simply click on test and click save. And now if I go back to my IT help desk list, and as you see in the customer feedback workflow, the customer feedback workflow has started and the current status is waiting for customer feedback. So that's great. In this short video, we'll learn how to start a selected workflow after a Quizcom item custom action has updated an item.